What is going on guys? Welcome to this Python tutorial series for data science. In today's video we're going to learn about histograms, how to plot them, what they're used for. And basically a histogram is just a type of plot that visualizes a uh, statistic distribution. So let us get into the code. So this time I already imported matplotlib and numpy as always. So if you're not familiar with that, watch the previous videos, but we just imported basic two libraries. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to define or what we're going to visualize today is the height of students. So we're going to have a collection of students or a bunch of students that all have different heights. And these heights are distributed in a normal distribution. So if you're familiar with the Gaussian, uh, I think it's called, uh, bell curve so this is this is a principle of statistics when you have a normal distribution the values are distributed like a bell uh this is the gaussian bell curve uh and what we're going to do in today's video is we're going to use a histogram to visualize that so the first thing that we need to do is we need to define the values for the heights and i'm going to use uh two parameters here which are uh, mu and sigma, which is the average or the mean and the standard deviation. So this is statistics. You don't need to uh, understand it fully if you're not interested in statistics. It's more about plotting today and the light is getting shitty, but I guess it doesn't matter because you're not here to watch my face, but uh, to look at the code. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to define a mu and a sigma. Uh, and these values are, as I said, mu is the, the uh, average, the mean, and sigma is the standard deviation. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, the average student is 172 centimeters high. And yes, I'm going to use the metric system because I'm not American. Uh, and the standard deviation, sigma, is on average, how much do the heights of the students uh, differ or deviate from that mean value? Uh, and we can say, okay, the average student is, or the average deviation is eight centimeters. So these are the two values that we're going to use. And now we have to define or now we have to generate uh, our student values. And what we're going to do for that is we're going to say x equals mu plus sigma times np dot random dot rand n. And now we're going to specify the amount of uh, students that we want to generate or heights that we want to generate. I'm going to say a thousand. And what happens here is I take the uh, average value, the mu, the 172 centimeters, and then I add uh, the standard deviation times random numbers. So sometimes a little bit more, sometimes a little bit less. And this rand and function here, what it does is it creates a random normal distribution. So uh, the n here stands for normal uh, distribution. So we're creating this bell curve that I talked about. Um, yeah. And now what we have to do to visualize that is we have to use histograms because that's the plotting type that we use to do that. So we're going to say plt.hist, which is the keyword or the function for a histogram, and we're going to pass the x value here. <clears throat> now we're going to choose how many of these heights do we want to visualize. Do we want to visualize all the thousand heights or uh, are we just going to pick 100? I'm going to pick 100 here. So we're visualizing from that x we're going to visualize a hundred different data points. Um, and the next thing is we're going to define the face color here. I'm going to pick blue. And basically that's it. We just show the plot now and it should work out well. Yeah, as you can see, okay, that's not a perfect bell curve. Maybe we should uh, use 10,000 different samples. Yeah, that looks much more like a bell curve. So this is the typical Gaussian bell curve that I talked about. Um, and as you can see here, down here, we have the different heights. We have from 140 centimeters up until two meters, so 200 centimeters, uh, different heights. And you can see how many students have this height. Now, what we have on the left here on the y-axis are not the probabilities or the percentages, but we have absolute values or values that uh, we don't want to have in that format. So what we're going to do is we're going to, going to say uh, density equals true, and that will convert this into the percentages. So now, as you can see, we have 5% uh, of students have these heights here, 4% uh, have these heights here, 3% have these heights here, and so on. And very, very few students have a height of 140 centimeters, which is kind of realistic because 
there are not a lot of people with that height and also very little or very few of them have uh, a height above 190 centimeters. So that is kind of realistic. <clears throat> now what we're going to do now is we're going to add some labeling, but basically this is the histogram. So we're done with the plotting, but we're going to add some labeling here. So we're going to say X label is the heights. Then we have plt.y label is percentage of students. Then plt.title is going to be heights of students. And last but not least, we could turn on the grid if you want to. So that's it basically. And one more thing, I'm going to add one more thing because I would like to have a text in this plot that tells me what mu and sigma are. So I'm going to place it somewhere like here, which is 150 and 0 0.04. So I'm going to say plt.text uh, 150 and 0 0.04. And the text is mu equals uh, 172. And I don't have a letter for sigma here, but let's say sig equals 8. This should work. Okay, a little bit more to the left maybe. So let's say 145. Should work out. Yes. And that's it. We're done with the plot right now. We can see the distribution of the different heights. We can see the uh, mu and sigma value, and we have uh, proper labeling. So that is how you visualize a statistical distribution with Matplotlib. So that's it when it comes to histograms and the visualization of statistical distributions in Python. So if you liked this video, if you enjoyed it, if you learned something, hit the like button for me and also feel free to ask questions and give feedback in the comment section down below. Uh, of course, subscribe to this channel if you want to see more because we're getting deeper into data science and machine learning soon. So stay tuned, keep watching and thank you very much for watching this video. So see you in the next video. Bye.